So as we finish up here, let's have her come into the wall. We'll go full, just a full speed finish into her last stroke. Now this is difficult to do from the middle of the pool because she knows exactly how many strokes it takes her in a full length. Starting at the middle can throw her off. But if we can get in here and watch that last stroke, she should throw right into the touch at the finish. There shouldn't be much of a glide. We want to have peak speed as she hits the wall. <laughs> okay, she's going to set up and here she goes. Coming in the last 10 yards of a race. She's got to hold her stroke, keep her tempo, and then she's big throw into that wall, big glide. She finishes that kick and powers all the way into the wall. Let's go one more just like it. That was a very, very solid finish. Now, if you're in a close race and it's going to come down to hundreds of a second, those last three strokes coming into the wall can make or break your race. In, in swimming, you can go from first to 16th place in two strokes in the last, you know, 1.2 seconds of a race. So you need to be perfect coming down the stretch. Let's watch Kirsten one more time. Watch her lunge coming into the finish. She carries that speed, good body line, right up to the touch. Here comes the throw, and there you go. She tucks that chin, keeps her head down. Notice she doesn't touch the top of the gutter. She comes in, she touches under the surface. That, that creates a better body line. It doesn't mess up her body line at all. It doesn't disturb the water at the surface. She stays under it and carries more speed into the finish. This ensures, and most of the time, she's gonna to get to that wall first if she holds that technique coming in. So great finishes by Kirsten. Very well executed breaststroke finish.